Hey everybody, welcome back uh, to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. Uh, just me this time, uh, running it solo. Uh, and in this video, we'll be finishing up World 4 and looking at some of the uh, puzzle games we unlocked last time. And I think those will be pretty interesting. There's uh, a lot of interesting things going on in uh, the end of World 4. Um, so the first thing... Uh, last time we got the Magnet as our new plant, uh, and he does something kind of interesting and extremely helpful. He magnetizes any- or he, he grabs anything magnetic, I guess, or made of metal, you know, to, uh, to him away from the zombies. Uh, so things like, uh, buckets on zombies' heads, or the pickaxe that the digger zombies use, things like that. I think screen door shields he might he might pick up. Then he goes on cooldown for a little bit. Uh, you'll you'll see soon enough in this video. And his almanac entry says, Magnetism is a powerful force. Very powerful. Sometimes it scares Magnet Shroom a little. He's not sure he can handle that kind of responsibility. And you know, I can really I can feel for the poor guy. That's He's got a very important job, it's a lot to lose, live up to. It can be uh, pretty stressful, pretty high pressure. I, I decided to not take the star fruit with me this time, um, mostly because I'm bad at using it. And. It's, I don't know, it's it's effective, I'm just not good at using it when I can just use regular things like pea shooters or repeaters or whatever. So you can see now we have a, uh, a buckethead zombie coming on, and um, if, I, if I plant a blover to... If I'd planted a blover to clear up that fog, you could have seen it a little better. But the magnet, you know, he charges up and he grabs the bucket off the zombie's head, and then he turns gray for a little bit. Um, to show that he's deactivated, and then after a few seconds, maybe like 10 or 20, he'll come back online and be ready to take another thing. The nice thing is that they can also steal the pogo from pogo zombies like that. Uh, would have been a little more helpful if he had uh, not been deactivated when the pogo guy was coming through, but... Um, you know, managed to managed to use the split P to good use there. Uh, that second one just kind of slipped by. Uh, not a whole lot I could have done there, because I don't... For this level I didn't choose a lot of um, strong offensive plants. It's mostly just, you know, things that do one damage or less than one damage in the case of the Puff Shroom and Sea Shroom. Which might have been a mistake, but yeah, you know, it's not really that part of a game. So the mind is kind of interesting because it's very, very powerful, but it's entirely support and, I guess, defense. Uh, so it needs protecting, which I think the, uh, the pumpkin is a good good choice for. Uh, I like the pumpkin a lot because it doesn't take up an extra space like a walnut or tall nut, though it's a little bit less durable um, and a little bit more expensive, I think. But it's you know it's helpful. Uh, it's good to have free up that space in the night when you're going to be planting a lot of puff shrooms for free constantly, and it's good to have something. Uh, sturdy to protect the the magnets because they're I mean as you saw they're very strong very important plants uh, towards the end of world four and I believe into world five they get some good use they also uh, are one of the few plants that have an upgrade from them you can uh, you can buy from crazy Dave which I think I'll show off a little later. And we'll just put a split P down to speed things up here. Make use of that uh, ability to attack behind itself. So. 
Huh? Uh, with the end of the, the last regular level of World 4, we get another note from the zombies. Or, wait, from our... Sorry, this isn't from our zombies, this is from our, our mother. Oh, meatloaf sounds good, so, uh... Yeah, alright, that's... Uh, wait, wait a minute. I think that might really be from the zombies. They're... they're... wily ones. Alright, now 4-10 is one of my favorite levels in the game. Uh, it's very... well, one... I, I really like rain in video games. Uh, so I really like the atmosphere of this level. Uh, also, you can see, you know, obvious gimmick is, uh, it's dark. You can only see when, uh, when the lightning flashes. Which makes things a little tricky, honestly. Uh, especially once they start throwing in more than just regular zombies. Um, then I just put that star fruit in exactly the wrong spot to not hit that zombie at all. Uh, another thing kind of contributing to the atmosphere is there's, there's actually no background music here. Uh, you just have the, the sound of the raindrops. Which I think is neat. Uh, and this is actually one of the harder levels in the game, I think. Um, and part of that is because of the plant selection they give you. Uh, you can see already they don't give you anything really strong. You don't get any instant kill, like, screen clearing plants like a Doom Shroom or a Chili Pepper. Uh, and you don't get really anything stronger than a, a pea shooter in terms of just uh, reliable offense. Uh, you know, no, no repeaters, no three-peaters. Uh, mostly what they give you are the star fruit, which I'm horrible at using. But the, the nice thing about them is they, they do hit entirely vertically, uh, like they'll hit the entire column above and below them. Uh, so, as well as, you know, with the diagonals, w with as many as they give you, you don't have to actually be good at using them to, to do too well here. Uh, one of the harder things can be uh, just trying to figure out, because of how the lightning works, you only have really a few seconds to figure out where you want to place your plant. Um, and then, you know, another few, another, or part of that few seconds to place, to actually place the plant, or else you're kind of placing it blind, you're just misclicking, which I'm prone to doing. So it's, uh, it's really a very interesting level. Uh, there's also, if you are, if you're going through the adventure mode in, uh, New Game Plus, uh, there's a special, unique zombie that only shows up in this level. Uh, I think it's the, uh, I think it's a Yeti zombie. Um, I've never actually seen it, because I've never gone through, uh, New Game Plus all the way. Um. So I'm not sure if it does anything different, but if anyone in the thread knows, you know, go go ahead and post all about that. The other thing is they give you a lot of lily pads here. Um, probably more than you'd ever need with as many sea shrooms as they also give you. Like, you could put a few, uh, you know, cactus, cacti, or star fruits on there, but uh, you know, your, your sea shrooms will honestly keep you covered. Um, the other nice thing, you know, obviously they give you a lot of back shooting plants, uh, so every now and then they'll throw a digger or two your way that you have to, you know, you have to have your star fruits and split peas to take care of. Um, and you can start seeing now in the, the brief flashes of light, uh, got a lot of star fruit, they're really gonna be Clearing up the, or filling up the screen with, with their stars. Um, also, uh, a nice thing I think I mentioned before when they first showed up about balloon zombies is that they have an audio cue when they come on screen. So if you're listening carefully, you could hear that right before I put down that blooper. Um, 
So what I tend to do is keep a lot of open space on those lily pads that aren't really doing a lot. So that I know I have an easy spot to put a blover down if I hear a uh, balloon zombie spawn. Um, we also see, you know, if you, I think the the star fruits are very good for taking care of the, the pogo zombies since they move quickly and would otherwise, you know, ordinarily just jump over uh, pea shooters and the like. Uh, but the star fruits hit in so many directions that uh, you know, jumping over a single plant doesn't really do anything, especially since that plant's now just shooting you in the back instead. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much this level. Uh, you know, magnets still very helpful for pogos and diggers and bucket heads. Uh, but, you know, with that, we're, we're just about at the end of World 10. I guess something important to note is that uh, you always try to put down a blover before a cactus can pop the balloon zombie's balloon, because um, I think if the cactus pops it, it'll just become a regular zombie and start watching. But if you uh, use a blover to kill it, obviously it, it just it's done. You don't have to worry about it anymore. And we have our uh, our first plant we'll see in World 5, the Cabbage Pult. And we'll see more of him next video. World 5 has an interesting gimmick. So now, uh, we can see last video we unlocked Puzzle Mode. And that gives us uh, two new types of gameplay. Uh, the first one is, you know, Vase Breaker, which I believe we saw in 4-5, the middle of the second night. Um, which is honestly not great. Um, not really what I would call a puzzle. Uh, and not, not really a bunch of fun. But I figured I'd show it off, just for the, the sake of showing it off. Um, it's still the the same thing, basically, as in uh, the middle of Chapter 4. You, uh, you know, break the vases, some of them have zombies, some of them have plants. And you gotta, you gotta use that to build your... Uh, build your defenses. And obviously the, the green ones are guaranteed to always have a plant in them. I'm not sure if they're guaranteed to have a certain type of plant or not, but they'll they'll always have some sort of plant. Unlike with the minigames, after completing each puzzle, you get a trophy and some money. Uh, then we have iZombie, which I like a lot. <laughs> So this is actually my my favorite mode in the game, I think, because it's it's very different from the regular gameplay. Um, it's just a lot of fun. It's it's actually kind of strategic and puzzling. Uh, and right there, I did I showed off uh, something you should never do, or almost never do, which is put your uh, Put a zombie anywhere that's not at the front line, because you're just given you're just giving the plants a lot of time to to shoot you. Um, so you know, as, as you can see, the the goal is to eat all the brains at the end of each row. Um, you put down put down zombies to they'll just go down the lane and act like zombies do. And you eat sunflowers to get sun to buy more zombies. Uh, and obviously, if you run out of sun without getting all the, or run out of sun and zombies without getting all the brains, you lose. Uh, and it requires, you know, some kind of tricky thinking in a lot of cases. First level is nothing too hard. Um, you can just kind of send in a few tough guys. Um, you can probably see. I'm not. I'm not playing. You know, I like to play it safe. I don't uh, don't send a lot of zombies down a row at once. Um, there, I just did something stupid and 
unnecessarily put down a football zombie to get squashed by the squash along with the regular one. But in the end, you know, I don't think it matters. It matters very much. And so, in addition to the the bonus you get at the end of each mini game and puzzle, you also get a smaller amount of money for each coin. So that's uh, that's iZombie in a nutshell. Uh, let's uh, let's finish up the the vase breaker challenges um, before we do too many more of those. Just get those out of the way. Like like with the mini games, you only unlock a few of these before. Um, before you complete the main adventure. Uh, so this one, Facebreaker 2, has a kind of interesting gimmick that it gives you backwards facing repeaters as uh, your main offensive. You got a couple of, uh, couple of snow peas, a couple of mines, a couple of walnuts, and then a lot of backwards repeaters. Which, if, you know, I had any sort of actual strategy for Facebreaker, besides just throwing down plants, and, or, and you know, hitting all the faces and throwing down plants, you know, that might, uh, might lead to some interesting strategies. But as it is, you know, I just kind of put them all in the back row. And our last vase breaker level, uh, you can see now, I think we have, uh, uh, as the vase breaker levels get harder, there start being more vases that take up more uh, columns. We have less space to put plants on the left and more uh, columns of vases to make things a little trickier. Uh, this also introduces, I guess, um, the disco zombies in uh, face breaker mode, which is uh, you know you use the same strategy as you use in the in the main game. Put down hypno shrooms to convert them to your side. Altogether, still not very hard. Would have been. Yeah, I think it'll go faster if I just get rid of that, uh, that snow pea there, so that... Because uh, if that bucket zombie just hits the Hypno Shroom, then we win. Uh, so we'll just stop freezing him to hopefully speed him up a little bit. Make this go by a little quicker. Alright, so now we have Eye Zombie 2. Because uh, we have to finish Adventure Mode to get more... Uh more puzzles, more vase breaker levels. Um, so you can see, you don't get the same zombies in every eye zombie level. You know, sometimes you get football players, sometimes you get uh, screen door guys, sometimes you get diggers, but I think you'll always get the regular uh, zombies at 50 sun cost. Um, my strategy here was to have the screen door shield zombie take the lead since he's not affected by the snow peas. Uh, and kind of stack up another zombie behind them to give support if he needs it. Um, something worth noting is that spike weeds will kill a normal zombie pretty easily. And they. I'm, I don't know if they damage the shield, or if they don't damage the zombie behind the shield, like ignore shield armor, kind of like the puff shrooms do. Uh, yeah, I guess from the top row it looks like, it looks like that second one's the case. Uh, so, you know, you pretty much never want to send a regular zombie over spike weeds, because they'll just die. Um, Screen door shields might be able to make it. They'll make it over one. I, I don't know if the second one will make it over. Or if it'll make it over the second spike weed, or if I need to put down a bucket head. Um, bucket head zombies won't have much trouble with spike weeds, though. And 
just a little closer. Oh, that's that's irritating. Thanks. But we've learned something. We've learned that screen door shield zombies have just enough health to make it over two spike weeds and any more, and they're they're gonna die. So not too complicated of level. Uh, you know, use the screen doors to block the snow peas, and then put bucket heads behind them to pass over the spike weeds. Alright, then lastly we have Can You Dig It? Where we get Digger Zombies. Uh, interesting thing to note about Digger Zombies is that they, uh, if they try to tunnel under a a potato mine, they'll explode. Uh, and just die instantly. Uh, but they're they're great for uh, lines that rows that don't have any backwards shooting plants or potato mines. So what I tend to do is uh put down some digger zombies right away to get the easy sunflowers that uh you know you're not gonna have any trouble getting. Just to build up some early sun, and then we'll have more strategic options. Uh. Now, something to note is that even though the digger zombie has cleared out that uh, that second to top row, and you know, the brain's still there, we still gotta spend 50 sun on a zombie to eat it. Uh, so you can end up in cases where there's no plants left, but you you, know, you still have to. You know, if, if you run out of sun, you can still lose if you don't have anyone to eat that. Um, so we, you know, just use regular zombies to trigger the potato mines so that they don't cause any trouble. Um, here I show off what happens if you try to dig under a potato mine. Uh, then the, the tricky thing with this level, and with that last row, are the, uh... The Torchwoods, or I think that's what they're called. Because um, if we put, obviously if we put a regular zombie in front of it, he'll just uh, die pretty easily. Um, luckily the Digger Zombie has just enough health to not get destroyed by a split P at, uh, at one range. Um, so we just send the, you know, same strategy, send the Digger Zombie to clear off that row, and then send the regular zombie to eat the brain. So that's the, the basics of iZombie mode. Uh, and that, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, next video will be starting World 5, so until then.